studying electricity, which is here. And then we look at these different applications here. So one of them, what I've done here, to speed things up, because I've just already opened up these bits and pieces. So one of them is John Travolta. Ah, there was my problem last time. So, so, well, probably there was the carpet. so you generate oh, really a lot of electrons by rubbing it on the carpet, right? <laughs> so now the guy has a net. Positive or negative charge? Negative. So if he was to discharge himself, how might he discharge himself? Go ahead. <laughs> what did he say? Gizarch. 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 So I know you all want to see that again, so maybe you don't want to see that But I don't think it makes too much difference. But in that case, he's touching it, so he's grounded straight away. So it goes straight to him, down to the end. Okay? Fairly straightforward. Let's go back to the balloons and static electricity. If this one works, it does have it is. The whole notion of a neutral object being attracted to a charged object. So to begin with, you've got a neutral object, which is a balloon. Right? Now, it doesn't actually show that it's attracted, but technically it would actually be attracted. But here's what happens. In fact, this won't therefore be a neutral object. Scratch all of that. Once again, rub it off of here. It picks up electrons. Oh, it will be attracted to a neutral object. So it's a charged object. It would be attracted, if I released it, which way would it go? To the jumper. Right. And over it goes to the jumper. If this was a metallic conductor, the electrons would jump off straight away. They can't jump off because it's an insulator, which means the electrons can't move along. However, if I now bring that over to the wall, which is neutral, so we've got the neutral object attracting a charge object. Watch what happens to the electrons. They don't move over here. They're not going to move off of them altogether because, again, the wall is an insulator. Electrons can't move along it. But they can move just enough to have a net effect. Actually, that's really not nice because it does show the electrons moving off altogether. But ideally, they would just move ever so slightly over to the right. And as a result, what you've got here is a charged object, like this, being attracted to a neutral object, which is neutral. Okay? Something silly like that. Let's move on. What else have we got here? We have got uh, this one is nice. This was taken on a security camera. I don't know how many, ye hundred, how many years ago. Here it comes up. And all she's doing is putting petrol into her car. And we watch what happens. It's a security camera, so there's no sound, right? But it's still worth watching. I turn off the main lights. You can zoom in and there, Mark, can you? Yep. Two minutes left. All very straightforward. No reason for him to go boo at the moment. There is no charge being built up. This is something that you would do any day of the week. You gas into your car. Now, how are you? How many lines do you see in the side? How many lines? Only one, two, or three times a year. She decides she can do it at minimum. I mean, she's got 30 seconds to stay here. So she shuffles over on the seat, shuffles back on the seat. It's because she's not earthing it. Checks to be the lipo. She's not earthing it, though. It's because she's not earthing it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. I think she pulled it out. <gasps> so it nice was it because she wasn't earthing it when it was going in? That's on the car that it was on the concrete. She ruined it. So back we go to here. It's right about here that she does the damage because right about there she is rubbing her bone off the seat and she's picking up a charge. Presumably, this doesn't happen more often because it's just a type of temperature involved around the gas, at the, this area in this particular day. She doesn't ground herself, that's probably a function of the shoes that she's wearing, or basically whether she's got a lot of surface water on the skin or whatever. So.